Hey guys, we're here at Fuel Fest in the UK. What an amazing event it is, what a great day it is. And look who I've brought with me. This is Cody Walker. You all know him as the brother of the very, very famous, much beloved superstar, Paul Walker of the Path of Fuel franchise. And you're here kind of representing him, aren't you? Yes, I am. Um, Fuel Fest is uh, uh, absolutely um, something that, um, well, it's, it's something that's in, it's absolutely inspired by him. I mean, he, he started doing small little get-togethers, gatherings of, of auto enthusiasts back in L.A. to uh, to get toys together for needy kids around the holidays. And um, I just I thought, hey, you know what? My love of cars was uh, in direct relation to him. He instilled that in me. I was about 15 years ago. So he was a huge influence on my life. And um, to be able to pull something together like this, um, it celebrates automotive culture and it celebrates his life and his legacy. It celebrates Reach Out Worldwide and benefits his charity. It's just a dream. So tell us, a, tell us about Reach Out Worldwide. That's a charity that he founded, was it? That's correct. Yeah, he founded it back uh, almost 10 years ago. Um, it was January of 2010 after the Haitian earthquakes there. And um, he, he realized that there's a big gap in time between um, a disaster and when actual boots on the ground are there and can actually start assisting the community. And rather than just stamp his name, put his name on something else that was established, that he knew that he'd more or less probably be used as more of like an ambassador. Um, he created Reach Out Worldwide so he could actually go in and, and, and uh, well, get his hands dirty. Be, be directly connected with the people. And so, the, so Fuel Fest is a way of combining the charitable effort, but also the huge fan following from obviously the fact that people are into cars and you guys are into cars. So, how long has Fuel Fest been Um, We launched uh, back in March of this year in uh, in L.A. Actually, in, in Anaheim, um, just south of L.A. at Angel Stadium. So this is the second official Fuel Fest show. So this is the first one that you've taken abroad? It is, yeah. How does it feel to bring Fuel Fest to the U.K.? It's insane. It is so cool. Um, you know, I have, I have a lot of support, obviously, from the Fast family. Um, and they're filming Fast 9 here right now. So that was like that was the big motivation. To like you know, I knew I wanted to do the UK. There are so many fans here. It's like, well, what a better time to do it than while everybody's here filming. So here we are. And how has the reception been for you? I mean, I saw you waving at the crowd earlier. How's the response? Been? Oh, it's, it it is. There, everybody is just so happy. It's like it's so. I, I'm just kind of blown away that everybody's waving and stuff. You know, I'm I'm just a little brother. You know. Um, but there's just so much love, and there's like this uh, the car community here. It's crazy. People have traveled from all over the place just to be here today, so it feels really good. Seeing as that this is something of a tribute to your brother, how does that feel to you personally? Oh, it feels amazing. He would love this right now. He would absolutely love this. He'd think, it, he'd think it in a lot of ways, it's just crazy. Like, what? Like, I can't believe this. Just like I am right now. Like, it's just, it's so amazing. Like, didn't, I, Paul didn't realize the impact that he had in this culture. He really didn't, and um, I think that's. I think that's. You can say that about even myself and all of my family. Like it, the impact that he had in this world, we didn't. Nobody really realized. Um, you must be really proud of the work that you've done since then. Have you had a chance to look around you since then? Um, I drove by the massive line um, on a golf cart real quick. Um, and I've, I've seen photos. I have not been able to walk the show yet. I'm sure you're looking forward to doing that, yeah. And in terms of, have you brought any cars here today that we should, we should be looking at? Um, no, nothing personal from, from me, unfortunately. Uh, I live in L.A., so, um, no. But there is an incredible collection out there from hypercars, supercars, JDM, Euro, everything. I think we have, I think we have over 70 GTRs here today. And I'm a big tuner guy, again, just being influenced by my brother so much. So that's pretty neat. I, I'd like to know if, if this is officially like the largest gathering of GTRs in the UK. I'm not sure. I want to it could well be. There was the 50th anniversary of Silverstone last year, last, uh, last weekend, two weekends ago, actually. And they did, do a, they did do a parade, so that probably was pretty big. They had the GTR 50 there as well. So that was, yeah. yeah, I actually saw that car at Car Week last year um, here in Monterey. It's blue now. It's blue now. They've changed it. Yeah, just for a little bit. Okay, yeah, that's so, it. You're into GTRs, you're into JDM stuff, and that's that, which is reflects on what Paul Walker was well known for. Yeah, yeah. He, uh, you know, it's funny. Um, growing up, uh, before Fast and Furious, it was more like muscle cars and American classics. 
And then when as he transitioned into being like fast and furious and really when he got exposed to tuner cars and um, just fell in love with the precision of a tuner car versus like a big heavy American muscle car, you know, that's more for straight line speed. And he became obsessed with that and then ultimately fell in love, you know, with uh, with German cars as well, especially Porsche. Um, so it was just mostly JDM and, and Porsche, really, um, outside of it. We're into the Italian supercars. We all, we all know and love that video that he did of driving the GTR in Japan that's going around on YouTube. Yeah, I've seen that. Yeah, yeah. He had a lot of fun doing that. So with Fuel Fed, what can we expect? Can we expect to see it again here in the UK? Are you taking it to other places in the world? Yeah, I've taken it all over the place. Uh, I want to do a show in Germany, Japan, uh, Canada, um, other big cities within the United States. Um, and I, I think that it's something that will probably return um, every other year um so probably two years time we'll be back here again but perhaps next year we'll do germany which is not too far and just touching on fast and furious you mentioned that earlier they kind of adopted you, you said you're the baby brother they've adopted you i know that you did appear in that because you obviously you were doing a bit of a stand and stuff will we see you in the movies coming from? you know i don't know we'll see there's a lot of rumors out there there's a lot of rumors that fast and furious will ultimately go to outer space too so I know, you know, we'll yeah, James Bond did it in Moonraker, so why not? Yeah, anything's possible. Anything is possible. Cody, thank you so much for talking to us. We really appreciate it. We, we love the fact that you brought the best here. We love you for doing that. Thank you for taking the time to talk to us, and we hope to see you in the movies very soon as well. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. We're going to do this again. Three, two, one.